I am so excited today. I am here with, I told you about him. Remember I said in my last video, his name is Denville Lee. And when I first met him, I thought Denville Denzel. Well, this is Denville. And I have a little bit of a history with him, which I'm gonna show you on Friday. And my history with him is when I first met him, he used to be a cop. And he used to have, it was before he became a detective. And he had a real car with the little woo 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 and everything. And, and I just said, I, I would love to know what it feels like to be arrested. And so he did it for me. And so um, I'm going to show you, I've talked about that before, but I'm going to put it up on Friday. Yeah, Friday, because this is going up Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Okay, so... Um, but I, Denville is somebody, I'm going to let him speak in a second. Denville is somebody who um, I've known for about eight years. About eight years, yeah. About, yeah, more or less, seven, eight, whatever. And, um, and he was a cop, just an a ordinary cop when I first met him. Then he lost his car because he became a secret detective. And then, um, and he used to have an earring and everything just to, <laughs> just to fit into the blend in, you know how they do in all the shows. And then um, he, in front of my eyes, met his wife and I got to go to his wedding and now they've got two beautiful, wonderful babies. And, um, but anyway, Denville now is, he's, he's only, how old are you? 29. He's 29, but he is, I've never sat under somebody who, what he say, oh, he, I forgot to say, he's my pastor now. I'm 58, he's 29, <laughs> but, but I've never sat under somebody who, of the things that come out of his mouth, it just makes everything make sense. And so I wanted him to be able to share some of this stuff with you. And he's explained, like when he talks, it just makes it, it, it explains a lot of the things that I've wondered about, you know. And I don't know how, I guess it's just a gift from God that, that things, that he's, that he's able to take things and bits and pieces and make it all make sense. But one thing that he talked about on sun, um, a couple Sundays ago was on success. And it, it really, really was so wonderful that I wanted him to say a little bit about that now and also to tell a little bit about himself. So now I'm going to shut my mouth. <laughs> it's okay. And it's up to you. All right. Um, so, yeah, my name is Denville and um, I'm 29 years old and um, I, I've spent um, a, a good portion of my adult life um, in law enforcement and and uh, just, just recently I had the opportunity to become the senior pastor um, of, of our church here, um, which is just a huge undertaking. And uh, it's been amazing because uh, so, so much love and support from people like Mary and, and who, who just really um, just love the authenticity of, of, of what God is doing. And, you know, so, um, and I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to come in and, and do some more like this. Yes, and to, I want him a lot. You know, <laughs> to come and sit. And I, I think it's amazing um, just in this age, like how we can do something like this, you know, and, and be able to communicate with so many people. And um, and, and and as a pastor of a church, you know, um, I, I, I spoke to Mary a little bit off camera. And I think it's really important, especially for people who don't regularly attend church or have never been a part of a church or are not a part of a church. Um, to be able to have some real answers about the the maybe the sacred and secular divide or some questions about the church or about Christianity or anything like that um, because that's something that I really would like for you guys and, and Mary will probably give some instructions on on how to ask some questions you know um, oh, because I, I think it's absolutely important um, that some of us are able to have real answers from people who are in what we're doing you know so sorry just sorry, please, go, sorry. Ahead, go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Um, I, that that remind me and i'm sorry to interrupt but i just had to say yes that's what we talked about and i want you know how you guys have written me some questions and that have been above my head a little bit you know and but i think even though i i know the the general answer i don't know how to articulate it but 
I think that Denville can. And so i that's what I want is for you guys to just any question you've ever wanted to ask about anything. It can be yeah. off the wall, whatever. And and we're gonna try to answer it about God. Anything that yeah. you is even if you're mad at God for something, you know, why do you do this or, yeah. or whatever, you know, just just express it and then we can talk about it. And one more thing before you go on, and that is that um oh, my mind went blank. Okay, never mind. Come on. <laughs> okay. So I mean and and um and one of the real reasons why I think that's really important is because as as Christians, you know, um I, I used to be a youth pastor as well and I got to talk to a lot of young people about, you know, Christianity and and, and as far as identity, you know, um whatever however you identify yourself, I mean, um it it's always hard when someone outside of your circle tries to define who you are within your circle. You know, um, so if 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 you are a Christian, for instance, um, it's really hard and and kind of wrong for someone who is outside of Christianity to try to define what Christianity is. And I find that a lot of the time, the people who are given the most information about Christianity are people who are not Christians. Um, and I think it's really important for us to start to hear from people who are Christians um, and to hear some real answers, you know, um, there, there's some churches and some people who have made some of um, the, the quote unquote Christian responses really popular, you know, and, and they've popularized some of their responses and how they're speaking for the entire Christian community at large. And, um, and that's a little bit offensive because they really don't speak for all of us. Um, and, and, and they don't speak for most of us, to be completely honest with you. And so um, I, I just think that's a really awesome thing to do. And, and so I encourage you all to do that and um, not to have all the answers, uh, but to be able to even come with enough humility to say, you know what, we don't have this answer. You know, um, this is something that we don't know and, and we're in the same boat with you. Um, and there's some things that we don't know. And I think that um, those are the places that we really get to be more human. You know, um, you don't have the answer and I don't have the answer. Um, and so we kind of get to be in that place together and, and I don't get to, to be, you know, an expert in everything, but we both get to share in our humanity together. So, um, we'll do the best we can with that and, um, and, and oh, we'll have well, a good time. Sorry, so. one more thing. And everything that he has, I've heard Denville speak, I can say he and I are on the same page, you know, like in that, um, it, Love never fails, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. he'll, he expressed it better than, <laughs> than I do. But the thing is, you know how I've kind of sometimes come against the things that, that make me mad is when God is, is represented as hateful and mean yeah. and all that. Denville's on the same page yeah. as me. So anyway, go yeah. on. Yeah, so that's all. Um, and not to get too much more into that. Um, and, and hopefully over the next few months or weeks, or however <laughs> much... <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll get an opportunity to find out a little bit more. But just a little background about me. Um, I, I, I wasn't always a Christian. Um, I, I've, I've been a Christian, um, funny enough, for maybe um, eight or nine years. Um, and so to kind of be the senior pastor of a church is hysterical. <laughs> um, and it is, it is the most unthinkable thing, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, I have a congregation of maybe a, about 150 people um, who are like two or three times my age and who's been walking with the Lord and have been Christians for a lot longer than I have. And so it, it really is a privilege to be able to uh, be the, the, the pastor of a church like this and, and, and to have so much support and so much love from people who just authentically love God. You know? So um, I, I used to be an atheist. You know, um, I, I, I never believed that, um, that Jesus Christ was Lord. Uh, I, I used to be as I describe it, like a blogging atheist, I, I used to go on all of the blogs and everything like that and, and, and post my views on, on, you know, how silly Christianity was. Um, and, and still is kind of silly um, when you think about it, really, you know, uh, to be completely honest, um, we, we, we have a gospel that uh, we believe that our God is a little baby that was born from a woman who never had sex. And, 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 um, and it's crazy, you know, uh, it is truly a crazy gospel in that he lived a perfect life and that he never once sinned. He never made a mistake, you know, um, and he never slipped up and, 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 and then he died, you know, um, and, and he died like everyone else dies. And, and, and then he rose again, you know, he, and then after he rose again, he showed up to his friends and, 
and then after that he took off and flew away in the sky you know <laughs> i mean it is a crazy gospel that we believe in and i recognize that even before i was a christian and 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 now being being a christian or being a follower of christ rather um it does it, it didn't get any easier to accept you know um it's still a crazy gospel um but crazy still makes sense you know uh crazy crazy doesn't um, relief it from being real you know um, I know a lot of crazy people who do some crazy things but they're still very real you know so um, so now being a, a, a Christian and, and remembering where I was and remembering what it was like um, before I was a Christian and, and the questions that I had and who was answering my questions um, and most of the time it was other atheists who was answering my questions about God um, and and I find like you know I, I still have a lot of friends who are who are atheists um, I have a lot of friends who who, who, who are in the LGBT community as, as well. And, and it's the same thing for them. You know, I, I like to hear from their perspective on, on what they think about things as opposed to talking to someone in my congregation who is married and, and has lived a heterosexual lifestyle their whole entire life and asking them what their thoughts and how they feel like, like the homosexual community feels about certain things. Like, I don't care what you think because that's not your circle, you know? Um, I want to hear from someone who is in it. I want Amen. them to speak for yeah. themselves, you know? And so um, to have your voice heard and, and, and what are you saying about it? Because maybe the church hasn't brought the right message about your community, if that's you, you know? Um, and, and I think for the same way, maybe some people in Christianity haven't brought the right message to you um, if you're outside of Christianity. And, and, and so to open the lines of communication so that we are hearing it straight from the horse's mouth, as they say. So really quickly, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about success uh, because success is, is one of those things that I have always been interested in my whole entire life. Um, I've had a job since I was 14 years old. Uh, I, I started working at McDonald's when I was 14. Within like three months, I, I, I was like employee of the month, and wow. and I was like promoted to a supervisor, and 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 quickly after that, in about nine months of working there, um, I actually was working back drive-through on Sunday mornings, and a lady who was like a CEO of some company, she she would come in and and ask me if I wanted a job with 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 a company that um she she used to manage or she used to work for something like that. And so she put me in touch um, with, with a company, Wild Oats, which is now Whole Foods. And I worked there for some time. And, and, and since I was 14, pretty much, um, I've never been without a job. You know, um, I've, I've always worked. I've always had a paying job. And, and I've, I've always made uh, what I believe to be lucrative money for my age. You know, um, I remember when I was in high school, um, I, 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 I was topping out like near 100, 1,000 in like going to high school, you know, um, what just, does that just mean, a thousand, a hundred thousand a year. Um, oh, in my you were making a hundred thousand a year in like, yeah, in, in like, in like going to high school and just holding down multiple jobs, you know? Um, and, and so in, in, in seeing what money is and, and I know that most of the time, like people describe, um, success in terms of money. Um, and and I find that one of the, the things that has to define success is something much greater than money. Um, and I find that success has to be defined by the thing that you were created to do. You know, um, I, I remember just making lots of money and ha being really unhappy because I was doing something outside of what I was made to do. You know, um, and and just in short, you know, um, success really is about doing the thing that you were created to do. The chair that I'm sitting on is made to be a chair to be sat on. And it's most successful as a chair when I'm sitting on it. Um, if I turn it over and I start dancing on it, um, it doesn't change its form. It's still made to be a chair. It's most successful as a chair. If I stand on it to change the light bulb, it's most successful as a chair for me to sit in because this is what it was made for. And so if I use it to beat somebody over the head, it doesn't become a weapon um, in its intent. It's still a chair that's best used to be sat on. And so the, the same thing I think for life, you know, um, I find that success for me really has been doing the thing that I was created to do. And I, I used to do different things with, with my life, which I'll share in the future. But no matter what I was doing with my life, um, the most successful thing is getting back to the one thing that I was created to do. Um, and, and, and that changes from time to time because our lives are so dynamic. Uh, but that's just one of the things that I really want to uh, share with some of you um, who are 
maybe in college you're trying to find out what to study and, and what job to take and etc. Um, is how do we decide that and how do we become successful? So that's it. Thank you, Denville. And you. so um, next time, I can't wait for you to be back again. <laughs> Start thinking about what you're gonna do next. <laughs> Thank you. And um, on Friday, I'm gonna show us in a different way. Him in a, as a cop and me as a prisoner. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Awesome.